guys so if you hear any background i am so sorry but today we are going to be making this charm um you will need a loom a hook um s clips or c clips and some bands first step let me put that over with this you get uh, your colors ready i'm going to be using blue pink and hot pink so these are my colors today for this design. So let's get started. Get two bands and start with your loom with your arrows pointing up and go to the left and to the right with double bands like that then get two more bands go up on both sides with double bands you're going to do double bands until I say not to do double bands. Then you go up another double bands. Double bands go to the left and to the right so now this is where we're going to make the inner part and don't worry this part is really easy um double bands i'm the first one i'm going to do is hot pink so grab three you start on the this peg and go to the middle and then you go on this peg and go to the middle with double bands just a reminder Now, get your other color, or or the same color. I would recommend doing different colors. Um, double band. Go from this peg, and then go to the middle, and then go from this peg to the middle. Now push your bands down. It should look like this. Now. Now you are going to make a cap band. I'm going to use light pink on the hot pink for mine. So just loop it around once. that I hope you can see can you see that I don't know like that then for the light pink on this side I'm going to use a hot pink should look like that and then we are going to cap this one I'm going to use 
a light pink for that so I know which one's the cap band but you can use your color for the border but I don't really care it's your decision mine looks like this and this is what it should look like and now you start looming you go into the cap band oh hold on you got to turn it around go into the cap band grab the first two and bring it over like that then you go in the cap band again get the next two and bring it over should look like this now you go into the first cap band grab the first two then go back in the cap band and grab the next two should look like this Now go to your next cap band, go under it, grab your first two, and then go under it, go under it again, grab your second two, and it should look like this for the middle. Now, this might be tricky if you are a beginner, but if not, it should be easy. Go through these, grab the two bands at the very bottom, like that. And do that on the other side too. Grab the very bottom two. Just like that. And if you don't get it right the first time, you can just watch the video over again. And if I'm going too fast for you, uh, just pause the video. Now go through all these bands. Grab the bottom two. Um, there will be a lot of tension on your hook, but it should not break because I don't have a metal hook and this works very well. So just grab those. It should look like this. Then go to the next side. I'm trying to do it where you can see. And grab the bottom two and bring it up. Okay. Push your bands down. This is what it should look like. Now. Go through all these bands right here on this peg. Grab the bottom two. Like this. Sorry about the car. Bottom two on this peg. Then go to this peg. Go under 
all the bands and pull it like that. This is what it should look like. Now, you want to get your hook and go through all the bands on this peg. Grab all of them, make sure you don't miss any. Because right now we are going to make a slip knot. Now, grab your color. I'm going to use like pink. Put it on the end of your hook, like this, and pull through all your bands. This will be hard because there are so many bands on the end, but if I can do it, you can do it. Because I haven't been doing this for long, and I learned this on my own. So, if I can do it, you can do it. And now, you can take it off the hook. I mean, the loom. Sorry, uh, I haven't made um, a video like this. This is my second video of a loom. So, I don't want to be too weird. Now, you have a charm. And make sure to pull this. And to make sure that it doesn't come out, you get your S-clips or your C-bands, which I'm using a C-clip. I'm not a C-clip. Um, S-clip because it, that's all I have right now. Um, and then it is a nice charm and you can, these are also great for earrings. I've made earrings, but I have to get the hook to put on him, but yes, this is a cute little charm and these are great for gifts and yes, bye.